Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope that you are all doing great. Some of you may or may not know who I am, so I will reintroduce myself. I am Happy Angela, a public relations student at LSPR Communication and Business Institute. Currently, I'm taking a class called Public Speaking and Presentation Skills with Mr. Charles Bernard Sirait as my lecturer. So today, I would like to talk about the research that my team has conducted over the last few weeks. But before we go any further, do you still remember what we discussed in the last video? Yes, public health. To refresh our minds, I'll just do a quick review on this. According to CEA Winslow, public health is the science and art of preventing disease, prolonging life and promoting health through the organized efforts and informed choices of society, organizations, public and private communities, and individuals. Public health serves to improve the health of populations and increase life expectancy. But then, there is COVID-19 a virus that is now being acknowledged as a global pandemic. We have been experiencing this COVID-19 pandemic for more than two years. We have undergone so many things, starting from quarantine, lockdown, new normal, large-scale social restriction or PSBB, and now the imposition of restriction on community activities or widely known as PPKM. All these things were enforced to slow down the spread of COVID-19 virus in the hope that this pandemic can end as soon as possible. Staying at home and following the health protocols when going outside are the best things that we can do to help. But there are one more thing that we can do as citizens to help. And yes, that is to be vaccinated. As I have mentioned before in the previous video, Many vaccines such as AstraZeneca and Sinovac are currently accessible in Indonesia. The government, especially the Ministry of Health, has been urging us to be vaccinated as soon as possible. They have been doing this and that to encourage us to and make us believe that vaccination is safe. Aren't you wondering why is it so necessary for us to be vaccinated, especially this time? Well, in general, Vaccination is a simple, safe, and effective way of protecting yourself against infectious and harmful diseases before they can infect you. In this case, the COVID-19 vaccine provides protection which can help you to avoid becoming extremely ill even if you do get COVID-19. And nowadays, whenever and wherever you go, vaccination certificates are needed. So that is one more reason why you should get vaccinated. Correlating these two topics, I was interested to know how the Ministry of Health socialized and encouraged the public to do the COVID-19 vaccination. And as a result, my team and I have been researching the title An Analysis of the Ministry of Health of the Republic of Indonesia's Communication Strategy in Socializing COVID-19 Vaccination on Instagram. We are using a qualitative research method, which is in-depth facts analysis. Well, I'm not going to talk about the result in this video, since we're still working on finishing the research. But I will start by explaining the communication strategy so that you can understand it more when I talk about the communication strategy used by the Ministry of Health in the next video. Well, if you want your message to be well communicated, you need a communication strategy. And there are four things that you need to keep in mind while developing a communication strategy. The first one is understanding the audience. Before you deliver your message, you need to know who your audience is and what kind of people they are. In the Ministry of Health case, the audience is, of course, Indonesian people. And the next one is composing the message. Think about this when you are composing the message. What kind of goal you want to achieve and what kind of reaction you would like to get from your audience. And remember, you must use a language that your audience understands. The third one is specifying the method. 
The methods here are classified into two categories. The first one is based on how they are implemented, and the second one is based on how the contents are presented. According to the way it is implemented, there are redundancy and canalizing methods, while the latter includes informative, persuasive, educative, and cursive approaches. Finally, there is specifying the media. There are several types of media available today, including traditional media like newspapers and magazines. Then there are electronic media such as television and radio. And the last one is the new media, which is the internet. Each media has its own set of advantages and disadvantages, so you must choose it very wisely. For the Ministry of Health, they use most of the media available, but we will only talk about how they use the Instagram. So, that is the four things that you need to pay attention to when planning a communication strategy. And with that concludes my explanation for today. I will share the result of my team research with you next time. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye!